So today we're going to go to Gilbert's again. Yep. And stab a cam. Ree, ree, ree. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> hey, Mr. Donut Man. What'd you do? There's a bunch of oil on that. Hey, uh, hey, hey. Bunch of Earl. Bunch of Earl on that guy. Uh, I wrapped it up so it wouldn't get any schmutz in the motor. Technical term for stuff. So hey, this Earl. is this is not how we left it. No, <coughs> clearly. No, you, I. Uh, is he an oil pump? Yeah, put the oil pump on, timing chain back in there, and head stud. Check out the studs. I'm worried about. Uh, the cam finally came in. And I decided on an Elgin wrap. What is it? I already forgot. E1841P, which is one notch above the uh, so called sloppy stage two cam that everyone likes to run. And because I wanted to be closer to the 600 lift point and a little bit more duration for <laughs> and giggles, and everyone's going to flame on it because they're like, you don't pick a cam on it. Size and whatnot, but uh, I already knew uh, the heads were going to get upgraded rapidly, um, so I went with the bigger cam. And the springs can handle it, so f it. Sorry, George. I'm going to cuss a lot. I got it actually from a guy off of the uh, Sloppy uh, Mechanics Classified page on Facebook, and I was up. For some stupid reason, my body hates me, and I was up at like two o'clock in the morning, and I had already made the decision I was going to go with this cam. And uh, I look on notifications, and it just says camshaft in the line. So I click on it, and it's this cam, and I'm like, sweet. And it's so cheaper than I can buy it on eBay or wherever else. And I'm like, hey. So I hit the dude up, and he hit me right back. And you know the time difference. So it was like five in the morning wherever he was at, Nebraska or some cold place and I bragged that it was 78 here in wonderful Arizona. Uh, and I bought it. I got Here's uh, the cam. engine tech lifters. Hope that doesn't bite me in the Why are they uh, They're just the lower option price, but they're still, they're just, you know, just lifters, lifters or lifters, I think, when it comes to these. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I need to soak these in oil. So, camshaft is gonna go in this hole. Mmm, this hoard. So it looks like he's already got the bearing in there. Like they put those in the machine shop. Yeah, they put them in at the machine them shopping. <laughs> machine them shopping. What are the cam bolts? Oh man, I don't know. I don't know, man. So, is organization a good idea? What's that? Yes. I swear. Haters. Oh, so this has a little. Pin on it so you get it in the right spot. Why are why? <laughs> Extreme close up. Whoa! <laughs> Any lovely ladies want to assist me? I'll do it. You, uh, you better. What you want? I. <laughs> <laughs> what you want? Oh. <laughs> what do you want? I should do. Oil on the as I slide it in. It's okay if you get it on things. On things. On things. So where do you want me to pour it? Just right on the loo, like on here. Oh, there's a little nubby right there. I just noticed that. Like it's been dropped or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the uh, mic out. Uh, or the, uh, the eye loop out. I'm trying to get the light in there. Oh, it's my hat. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> uh, it is a casting imperfection. You can see it. It's like a little bloob out there. Like right there. But it is below the surface, so I'm just gonna take a file, a little jeweler's file, to the edge of that right there. Okay. Yeah, close enough. Pour some pearl on there. Honey. I'm gonna try to go as slow as possible so I don't bash the uh, out of everything. Oh god. It's all right. That's a little much. Getting it the rest of the way in there. Yeah. Oh. 
more, Earl? Oh, yeah. That little daughter right there. Oh, God. That's right, there's an oil pan on it. So. Yeah, yeah. Looks like it's pretty dang slick. Yeah, slick rig. Tight. Slicker than a grease turd. Mm. You're doing a thing. I told Adam to come as to this thing too, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. So if you're watching this, Adam, son of a So what does this do that you just put on? It keeps the thrust of the cam in check. And then the back side of this mates up to this plate. It's a thrust plate. It's to keep everything from floating. Not keep it from floating. Is there one that goes over the back side? Nope. nope I mean, the cover's back there, just but kind there's... Of chills a, back there? Yeah, just kind of chills back there. Well, if this is set correctly, it's not going to move back and forth. Yeah. Ooh, it's a, who you calling? It's not going back. It doesn't go back. Hey, you know what I forgot to do? <laughs> so you gotta take that back off. Right here, right there. Hold on. There it is, dot. It is. See the dot, George? Right. And then this dot. That dot. That one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Lined up, if you can, to the, there you go. Oh, bull Oh, bull Stuck on the other side of the bull There we go. How do you even um, drape the thing yeah, over the top? Yeah, there you go. over a little bit. I know guys that can do this by themselves. What's the issue here? Shut uh, up, Mike. Uh, okay. you're not helping, maybe? We're a tooth off! Mother Well, then we'll just do this. One tooth. Smarter than I look. Sometimes. Sometimes. Occasionally. Still off, so we need to go back the other way, maybe? The dots are not facing each other. Go over one revolution. Where's that dot again? There it is. Yep, yeah, right there. The, uh, yeah, that's it. The... Connect the dots. I hope this doesn't tip over. You're getting Earl on my hand, man. What you get? Well, I'm getting oil all over my hands. What are we gonna do next time, do we hope? Uh, hopefully next time, which will be unfortunately in a few weeks or maybe more because I'm buying a house. So the money train has left the station and it's all going into something else. But uh, I need to buy cylinder heads because I found out, unfortunately, that the heads are bad that I had purchased for this motor. They just kind of came with the motor. I didn't technically purchase them. They just came with the motor. I mean, nothing. Dude didn't know, so it's like not his fault. He just gave me some cylinder heads and assumed they were good because they were on running motor. But that's what you, the risk you run when you buy stuff used. But whatever, it didn't cost me a lot. Uh, Next is going to be cylinder heads, oil pan, front cover, rear cover, putting accessory drives on, and uh, uh, pretty much getting it ready to put in the car. Oh, uh, push rod length and rocker geometry. Uh, I'm a big stickler on that. Um, there's no set length for things, really. Um, so you have to check with an adjustable push rod, check uh, your rocker geometry at half lift, you know, that stuff, so you don't run into wearing out stuff uh, in your valve train. So that'll be next. Uh, hopefully a longer video and better content, uh, not short little video. So. 
So there we, we stab the cam. Where's your sound effects? <laughs> we we stabbed a cam. Uh, die cam die. And almost forgot to put the timing chain on it. Uh, might be a few weeks before we get in there. It's kind of what Gilbert said a second ago. Uh, but we got some other stuff we're working on. Um, videos are probably going to be a little bit more sporadic. Uh, we're just trying to get better content and stuff for you guys to watch. So it is what it is. Indeed. But on that note, if you want to support us, you know, our shirts are available online. GarageJunkieApparel.com. Make sure you check that out. Uh, give us a like on this video if you think it's awesome. And go ahead and comment below if you want us to shut up. Uh, <laughs> Which we can do. We can, we can do, do that, that, but we're not going anywhere. And subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and, and uh, click on that bell so you can get notified. Yep. Tight. See you around.